Hi, in this section we are going to see how to handle errors in machine learning. There are two types of errors in machine learning. One is called the bias, the other is called the variance. The bias is also called an underfitting and variance is also called an overfitting. Let's explore these two errors through an example. Let's go back to Azure ML and let's create a new experiment called the train experiment error. And as you have seen here, I have dragged and dropped the train data set. Okay, now I'm going to click on view. And as you can see, a bunch of data points related to each passenger. Now, what I'm going to assume is, I'm going to assume that there's only one data point, which is age, which comes along with this particular data set. And I'm going to mask all the other data points. I'm assuming that these data points did not come along. So what we have essentially is the passenger ID, we have the passenger name, we have the age of the passenger, and then we have the data point which reflects whether the passenger did survive or did not survive. So let's go ahead and select only those data points which we believe has come through. So in this case, we're going to select columns in the data set. I'm going to drag and drop the workflow and as we have assumed that we only have passenger ID we have the name of the passenger we have the age of the passenger and then we have the survived data point and uh, we will not select name at this point in time we'll just have passenger ID age and survived and we'll go along with this particular data set so let's run this particular workflow. So at the end of the workflow, you should only see three data points, which is the passenger ID, the age, and the survived data point. Let's go and visualize it. And there you go. And now what I'm going to do, a set of simple steps, I'm going to clean the missing data, which is the age, and I'm going to use the the component which is already there and was illustrated in the previous section, which is the clean missing data component. Now I'm going to select the component, the column which needs to be cleaned, and which is nothing but the age. I'm going to select the age, and then I'm going to make a substitution value, and I'm going to say replace with median, and and as I said, the illustration is not about the clean missing data, but rather the illustration is about understanding the bias in the particular modeling. So what we are going to assume is we're going to replace with median, okay, and then we are going to rerun the workflow. Once we rerun the workflow, we'll have a clean data, which doesn't have any missing values. And then we'll go ahead and create a model out of it. Now, so as you remember in the last section we need to create a split correct going to split that particular data okay, i'm going to clean take the output of the clean data and take it to the split data i'm going to say hey, i want 80 percent of the data set i'm going to put a random seed of one two three four and i'm not i'm just going to leave stratify split as false okay and then what i'm going to do is now i have the uh, data point which split into 80 and 20. Now I'm going to apply a train model. To apply a train model here. I'm going to take the data point from 80% of the data, apply it to the model, and I'm going to go with the logistic regression which we have already seen before, the two class logistic regression. I'm going to apply this. And here I have to say what I'm going to predict. So I'm going to say, okay, so since I have to run the workflow, it is not popping up. So let me run the workflow here. Okay, so let me run this particular workflow first before I come here. So, okay, so let me drag and drop. Let me 
do this at the later, at later point. Let me delete these particular components and let me rearrive. So let me just run this component again. So once this particular component runs, let's redo the steps that we did before, which is pick up the train model, drag and drop it here, and pick up the logistic regression which we had selected at the last point. Let's connect these two data points, correct? Connect the split data, and then we'll wait for this workflow to get completed to go further. So as you can see here, I run the workflow. The step that I did was I launched the column selector, selected survived as the data point that I need to predict and uh, rerun the workflow. And the next step is to apply the model that we have trained. I'm, I'm going to pick on score model. I'm going to pass the model which you have trained using the, which is the output of the trained model. And then I'm going to take the data set, which is 20% of the data set, pass it to the score model. And then finally, I'm going to drag and drop the evaluate model. Now that is going to give us a metric in terms of how good the model has been. And let's rerun that particular workflow. So we will rerun the workflow. So what we have done here is we are trying to build a model with minimalistic set of information which is nothing but the age and uh, and as you can see here we will look at the performance of the model shortly so we will look at performance of the model and as you can see here the model is not that great and um, we have not been able to predict anybody has survived a true positive of zero Oh, true negative we have 130 so the accuracy is still good okay 63.5 but if you look at the true positive which is what we are looking to achieve we have achieved a nil in fact so what this model is a perfect example of an underfitting model the reason it is called an underfitting model is because we do not have enough information in hand to go ahead and predict whether the passengers survived or did not survive. Remember, when we got the data set, our assumption was we have only the age of the data, age of the passenger as a feature. And we tried to build a model on using age as one of the feature. And then when we trained the model and we applied the model on the 20% of the data, data set that we have, we see that the model really poorly performs and this is a classical example of a bias or an underfitting model. So how do you solve the underfitting model or how do you solve the bias? Can I solve the bias problem by adding more passengers to the list? Think it over. If the model that I have built on a data set having passenger and uh, age is unable to give us a better performance then having more passengers and more age is not going to help us at all so the only way to solve this particular problem is to enhance the passenger dimension so in order to solve this particular problem we need to add a lot more features to describe the passenger so we if we go ahead and add for example the gender of the passenger now let's say we go and add gender of this particular passenger or let's not add gender let's go ahead with p class because we, if you have you have to add gender we need to kind of do the categorical transformation okay and then let's rerun this particular model all over again so in in short, we cannot solve a bias problem by adding more rows of passengers. We need to solve the bias problem by describing the passengers. 
we need to have more features in the data set which can help us overcome the bias problem so let's look at it we have added p class as one of the features couple of more seconds and then we are done Now let's go ahead and look at the evaluate model all over again. And this relatively looks better. And if you can see here, we have we have been able to predict some of the passengers have survived. Not a bunch of them, correct? And we your recall is pretty bad, 33.8. And accuracy has gone up a notch correct it was early 63.5 now is it 68 um, so our f1 score has also gone up so in essence the way to solve the bias problem or the bias in your model is to add more expressive features for that particular data set so here in short data set is the king if you have a bad data set or if you have a minimalistic data set then there is no way for you to go and build a machine learning model. So you need to go and describe the data set a lot more. So in this case, we are able to describe the passenger in terms of age, in terms of the passenger class, in terms of the gender, in terms of all the other data points which are part of the Titanic data set. And once we add all these data points, then we are able to overcome the bias problem.